Question 3, we're looking at linear motion. A special effect for a movie requires a ball to explode in midair after it has been thrown. This is achieved by using a strong spring to push the two pieces of the ball apart. So inside the ball, I guess, there is a spring. Um, and that's going to cause some interesting effects because we're going to add energy into the system that's been stored in the spring. So let's carry on anyway. <clears throat> the ball has a mass of 1.105 kilograms and at the instant it splits it's travelling horizontally at 67 meters per second. The fraction of a second after the split, A and B are effectively still travelling horizontally in the direction shown. Uh, piece A has a mass of that, piece B uh, and is travelling at 80 meters per second. The only external force on the ball is gravity. There are no external horizontal forces. There are internal forces though, clearly. A discuss whether momentum and or kinetic energy is conserved during the explosion. Okay, well, uh, momentum's definitely conserved. Um, let's just roll up a little bit. So momentum is, is conserved. Um, conserved, why is it conserved? Because no external forces or um, torques are, are acting. Um, the, uh, let's see, and when there's an explosion, both A and B will push against each other um, and... Um, they're pushing off of each other, so the change of momentum for one will be equal to the change of momentum for the other in, in any case. So, so momentum is conserved, um, and that means the total momentum, vertical and horizontal and added, is equal to the initial horizontal momentum. Um, energy, um, if energy is conserved, you'd say no, it's not being conserved, because you've got the added energy from the spring, um, but I guess it depends from when you start looking. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming, based on the situation, energy is not conserved, is what, they're, what they mean. Um, because you've got the, the stored energy in spring, potential energy in the spring is released. And that becomes kinetic energy, changing the speed of, um, <coughs> in the vertical direction. Okay, um, and assuming that the spring releases, I didn't look in that much detail, but assuming the spring releases this way only, then uh, that's going to be um, going to be equal and opposite momentum in the vertical directions as well. I'm not sure if it is, maybe that's a false assumption. We'll keep reading further and see how we go. B, calculate the horizontal momentum of the system of two pieces immediately after the explosion. Well, it's got to be the same as the initial momentum uh, if it's conserved. Um, the ball the total ball is 0 0.105 kilograms times by 67 um, so that's going to give us um, what is it, the answer say 7.035 so it's just P equals MV for initial conditions okay, and then you get 7 point uh, rounding to 3SF is 7.04 kilogram meters per second. C, a piece has a mass, a piece A has a mass, see how I did that, and it's traveling at 80.0 meters per second, an angle of theta A is shown. By drawing a vector diagram, show how you could calculate the velocity of piece B immediately after the explosion. Calculate A calculation of the velocity of B is not required. Okay, so this next bit's going to be a bit more complicated, so I'll pause it there and I'll uh, carry on with the second video for part C onwards.